Professor Cohen, does Vladimir Putin indeed have a dog in our U.S. fight? Vladimir Putin wants to end the new Cold War, and so do I. Let me say I have no ties to the Trump campaign or the Clinton campaign. But if I were to write your headline for you today, I tried on the way down here, I couldn't fit it on the front page, but it would go like this. We're in a new and more dangerous Cold War with Russia. We're approaching a Cuban missile crisis nuclear confrontation with Russia, both along Russia's borders and possibly over Syria. There is absolutely no discussion, no debate about this in the American media, including, forgive me, on CNN. Then along comes unexpectedly Donald Trump, who says something that suggests he wants to end the new Cold War, cooperate with Russia in various places, what we used to call detente. And now, astonishingly, the media is full of what only can be called Neil McCarthyite charges that he's a Russian agent, that he's a Manchurian candidate, that he's Putin's client. So the real danger is what's being done to our own political process. This is a moment when there should be, in a presidential year, a debate, because Mrs. Clinton's position on Russia seems to be very different, has been a long time. Trump, uh, Trump speaks elliptically. you got to piece together what he says. But he seems to want a new American policy toward Russia. And considering the danger, I think we, as American citizens, deserve that debate and not what we'll be, we'll be given in the media today, including on the front page of the New York Times. I end by saying that these uh, reckless uh, branding of Trump as a Russian agent, most of it is coming from the Clinton campaign, and they really need to stop. Okay, I don't know where to begin in unpacking all that you just offered to us, but I guess I'll start as follows. As one who can't match your credentials, here's what I see from the outside looking in. I see Donald Trump having said to the New York Times just within the last 10 days that he's not so sure he would stand with NATO allies. And I'm paraphrasing. He'd want to know whether they've been pulling their own weight. The import of his comments seems to suggest that he could provide Putin with, with unfettered, undeterred access to the Baltic states whose independence he resents. And so it all seems to fit, therefore, that Putin would have a dog in this fight, would want to see Donald Trump win this election so that he, Putin, could do as he pleases in that part of the world. CNN is covering that. I mean, I, I have to defend the network in that regard, but, but why does that not all fit? And why does it not all fit with the headline in today's New York Times, which says Russian spies said to hack Clinton's bid? Said to have. Said to have. That's not news. That's an allegation. James Clapper, I don't know who hacked. Everybody hacks everybody. I mean, we hacked into uh, uh, Chancellor Merkel's cell phone. We learned that from Snowden. The Israelis hacked. The Americans hacked. The Chinese hacked. Everybody hacked. The point is, is that, and I know you said it not to defend it, but at, to, as a provocation, that let's take the position you just set out, that Putin wants to end the independence of Baltic states. There's no evidence for that. None whatsoever. The point is, is that on the networks, and I'm not blaming CNN, and there's no, none on any network. There's none in the New York Times. I'm old enough to remember that during the last Cold War, all these issues were debated in that you had a proponent of two, each point of view. But you've now got accusations both against Putin, both against Trump, which needed to be debated. The most, let's go back to what you said, that Trump said about NATO. Trump said early on he wanted to know, 60 years after its foundation, what was NATO's mission today? A, a hundred policy walks in Washington since the end of the Soviet Union, 25 years ago, have asked the same question. Is NATO an organization in search of a mission? For example, its a mission for the last 20 years has to expand ever closer to Russia. So people have now asked... Why isn't it fighting international terrorism? That's a legitimate question. But we don't debate it. We don't ask it. We just say, oh, Trump wants to abandon NATO. I don't defend Trump. Trump raises questions. And instead of giving an answer to the substance of the question, we denounce him as some kind of Kremlin agent. That's bad for our politics, but still okay, worse. Well, he hasn't, Given he the hasn't, danger, yeah, we're not addressing this. it. I I love this conversation, and I could go on for hours with you on this subject. I wish time afforded that. I've not regarded him in that respect. 
And I think that we've just had this conversation, the conversation that you say is so desperately lacking. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time.